Do they sound pick up from there? Do you want to listen through earbuds through the phone to make sure that you're getting it? Uh, so can yes. I use the earbuds? Did you call me? Yeah, oh, okay. I got the that. mic. So that should, this should work then, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, well, I'm here with the Claymont. State champion. How does that sound? I can't even process it right now. I just need to take a deep breath and feel I don't remember what it feels like yet. I'm stuttering. I can't even feel it. It's surreal. It's just surreal. Tell me about how tough you and your boys and your coaching staff were to come back and climb back from a two set to one deficit in the fourth set and then to climb back from a 5 1 hole in the fifth to win this title. We knew, we knew we weren't done. We, uh, it's been too many, too many days in practice, too many years in the making. We weren't done. We weren't going to stop fighting. Uh, we just kept fighting. We found uh, some people that were hot at the time. We were able to uh, pick up on some things that they were doing and stop it. Was them. Uh, they were able to turn all oh my God. Is it fair to say that they were a little one-dimensional like Tyler Murray? They're great, Trevor Murray, they're great senior hitter, and you guys are more multifaceted with finding your other hitters. They're completely one-dimensional. That's what we knew going into the game. And I think in those sets, two and three, we, uh, we lost sight, we lost, we lost track of uh, it. We weren't really finding it, we were really know our game. Um, so I think in, in those sets that we did win, it was because we found him and we established him and go on runs while he was in the back row. In the fifth, he fell apart a little bit. He had a bad pass, he had a bad hit, he may have had a net violation. How did that feed into your momentum? And I think you blocked him as well. That was amazing. That was Isaiah Buster. We talked about the fact that he had been going angle all match. And so one of the times he was coming in to hit, I just shoved Isaiah sideways so he could get in the right spot. He jumped and blocked him twice in a row. And that really fed our energy. You were a key in the fifth um, with hitting. You also found a combination with Alex Mazinski on the back set, and Alex was putting them down. Alex on in fire. The fourth and fifth. 17 kills. He was on fire. I, I knew exactly where I was going with it. He was, he was my go-to kid. Well, I think Weary was advertised. I think Skylar Kavanaugh was also as advertised here. How big was he today? Skylar was huge, not only in his kills, but in pulling the block. All eyes were on him, and that's what established that. He was able to get Alex over the wall. Can you describe the feeling when Skylar had that game, that game set, match, clinching kill at the end? Oh, I can't. I, no, I can't describe it. I sat down and started crying. I can't. It was, it was I just had to sit down. There's no way to describe that. What does it mean to you to have your mom and dad, your older sister, your two younger brothers here with you to share this championship with all of them? It's everything. They're all they're all almost at every single practice and they're all working hard together. It's really been a family thing, you know, seeing your volleyball. I've been going to the gym since I was in fifth grade. And so uh, being able to bring a, bring a title home to my senior year. Uh, you carried these guys on your back uh, for four years and I can't congratulate you enough and I'm so happy for you and your family and your teammates who are your brothers. Congratulations. All right, McLean Mott, state champion. All right, well, here's Coach Heather Mott, and I want to say a little camera shot, which is, which is fine. I like that. That's on purpose. That's good. That's good. So I don't know. What, what can you say about how resilient that your team was here today, and how big of a challenge was it for you to keep them on an even keel when things were challenging? You know, volleyball is a lot about going up, up high, and then coming back down. We've talked a lot all season about trying to keep the, you're going to go down. Everyone does. So if we can just be patient right there and then know that it's coming back up, I think that's been, that was key tonight. I think we got down a little bit in the second and the third sets. I think we started to get a little scared. And, I think we, um, and, and then you can kind of start to feel the momentum turn. And I thought to myself at one point, this is perfect. The timing of this is perfect. We've done exactly what we should have done. We were kind of patient. We didn't have to win it in three. Um, I told the boys, I kept telling them in timeout, so you certainly didn't think this was going to be easy. We're, we knew we were going to be And so I just felt like as a set kind of goes this way, I felt like the match kind of did too. And we went down and we were a little bit patient, so we didn't get too far down. And then we were able to kind of creep back up. We started creeping back up there in that set. I, I kind of could feel it, it, it was going to be okay. We were going to continue. And then our, our attack was so balanced. And we used so many guys, and I, I, that's a tribute to McLean for trusting every single kid on his court. Because had he gotten heavy just with Skyler, they would have stopped him. They had the tools to stop him. And I was so proud of him for being willing to give that up and be a team player. And then at the end, it was so funny because at the end, I'd, I'd been serving Javi for him because Javi brings us a little more defense there in the back row. 
And Skyler looked at me at one point in the, in the end there, towards in the end of the fourth set, and just said, Coach, let me serve. I can do this. And he came up with a couple big digs, and he had some really great serves. And so it was just an example of how he matured as the match went on. It didn't have to be, it, it could be about all of his teammates. And in our meeting earlier, he said that. He said, this is about all of our teammates. Every single one of them. We had kids today that uh, every single one on my floor, every single one on my bench, everybody stepped up. They were, they were bigger and better than they've ever been all season. Yeah, I think the bench gave you an emotional lift, and uh, I think your players on the floor were feeding off of that, as well as all these students and parents and staff and principals that made the trip up here, because this is a quote-unquote neutral site, but <laughs> yeah. how many miles away are we here from Horizon Honors? And in fact, I, in fact, it was interesting because the um, Horizon Honors coach um, greeted me here like this was her gym. She, she welcomed me, and like like I had walked into her gym, and, I, and it kind of took me back. I said something right. to one of my assistant coaches. I was like, that was kind of weird. Because it, they have the feeling that this is their home. Right. And, and so we're traveling, and I, you know, my comment was just, oh, we love to make this trip. We love it. We're happy to be here. And she said, was the trip long? I'm like, no, it was great. Right. We're really happy. So I think it's all perspective. We can complain. I don't think it's ever going to change the whole to talk to this thing. We, so you can either complain or you can use it to your advantage. And I think tonight we use it to our advantage. Uh, the attack was certainly multifaceted, right, with Sutog, Forty, and Alex Mazinski, and Skylar Kavanaugh, Ethan Igo, McLean, Carson, uh, Isaiah. Everybody contributed on the team in every possible way. Jacob Verona as a liberal. It was just beautiful. The great setting, the passing, the blocks, and, and feeding off of each other. And a tribute to unselfish, unselfish play. play. When you really, truly believe in everybody. Uh, this is what happens, and we've said this for years. We've said this all season long. We've said this for four years in our volleyball program. We've said trust everyone, love everyone, no one is more important than anyone else. We believe that, and, and this is what happens when you really believe really Can you describe how sweet and, and the joy and the exultation of finally getting over and winning that championship and challenge? You know what, you're not going to ask me that in three weeks. Sure. It's going to take me a long time to process this. At one point in the, in the match, I'll admit that I started thinking about what am I going to say to these people? And, and then I thought, you know what, don't we can do this. We can continue to push. We, we love each other. We believe in each other. And we can do this together. And I kept saying in timeout, keep your head down and pull together. And, and they did. They did. So one, last, one last question. How big do you think that 24-21 mantra that you had for this season carried your team through adversity the entire year, and especially here today? I think that, that I think us owning the mistakes that were made in that match when we lost, we had them 24-21 and then lost. I think that has been, it's been the driving force to have kids that show up in the gym, practice, in the off season, and then go out and play sand for three more hours, and then come the next morning, I mean, I would say, can we practice at nine, and guys are like, no, can we leave practice after two hours, no, I mean, no, because if we leave practice, we're just going to go outside and play in the sand. And so I think what that did is it motivated people to say, we're going to work so hard that we, we can't not get there. I think that was what that did. I'm so happy for you. you so you've much. done an amazing job with these young men uh, and the girls, leading them uh, all the way through, doing everything the right way, always building up a powerhouse in Southern Arizona. It doesn't get enough recognition and respect across the state. So I'm just... Words fail me. I'm just happy for you. You know what? You I'm just so grateful to the whole system, the whole support. We feel so supported from all these people to our administrators. What school had all of their administrators True. show up right. in a game like this? Right. That, it just, it, that whole family is, is what's driving this program right now. And, and I told the boys at the end of the meeting inside, I said, if you're nothing else right now, be so grateful. Because if you're grateful, then people want to cheer for the guy who's great. Not arrogant, not selfish. I'm grateful and a team. And my boys were like, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. And when that happens, <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you so much for your support. Oh, my pleasure. Heather Mott, state champion coach of the, the champs from Seneca High School, the Bobcats here. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you so much. We lose boys. They're taking